somebody knew her name, but she turned up just the same. There was a knock on the door, a thump on the floor, and the party turned insane as she called out her name. Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I thought that if he were here, Dr. Darling would want to celebrate, because last time, we finished off the story in The Foundation, the first of the DLC chapters, which uh, resulted in Jesse saving the universe again! <laughs> oh. Standing here, because I have been thinking about this plate a lot since we got down into the basement. For who among us has touched the foundations of this world and deemed them solid Dr. Theodore Ash? As I... The wording makes me feel like it was not a coincidence that the DLC was called The Foundation or that it was about Theo Ash. Huh. But, uh, yes. As you might have guessed from the way I'm dressed, today we are checking something else off the to-do list. We've stymied the Hiss Invasion, uh, stopped the Astral Bleed, and uh, rounded up all of the escapees from the Panopticon. But there are still things to do on the to-do list. Like that mold job I've been putting off for four million years. Since it's been a while, I will mention, you know, refresh all of our memories, that I was wandering around when I fell in the hole over here, very carefully, since this is well before I had the actual slow fall ability. And at the bottom, I met Dr. Nora Underhill, who's studying the mold, the uh, substance which is uh, growing throughout parts of the uh, oldest house, and which seems to be extra-dimensional in origin. I don't like how some of it looks like it's burning forever. The problem being that at the time, the highest level enemy I had ever faced... I already cleaned out a group of dudes in here, what the fuck? <laughs> the highest level enemy I'd ever faced was level 3, and as soon as I walked into the first room to do the mold quest and find some samples for uh, Dr. Underhill, I, uh... Oh, there you are. I ran into some level 6 zombies. Oh god! Where is it? Where is it? Am I imagining it? Did it? No, I'm not! There's a goddamn cloaker in here! I lost it. Aw, oh, crap. Tell you what. Ooh. I dare you. No! Not this time. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Ow. I'll take care of this. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, God. My health. No! This isn't how this was supposed to go! <laughs> what is this? That was bad enough one of those tornado guys spawned the first time I walked into the room. And I know how to deal with them now.
you know, you can tell that uh, Dr. Darling made that dynamite video after he ascended to a higher plane of existence, because at one point he holds the hotline up to his ear and does not immediately die. I still find it bizarre. There's no control points in this big uh, central area. Fine, let's just head off to the hole in the ground. <sighs> let's get ready to get bleachy! Okay, there's the plate, which means I go this way. Fuck! And we're running. Maybe I'm faster than it is. Oh yeah, I actually have a quest for that, so I should probably just assign it, huh? Here we go, finally. Old growth. Dr. Underhill sends Jesse to look for samples of mold strains. Is that what I said, Underhill? I thought I said Underwood earlier, but my mistake. It has been a while, and she only appeared there to give me this quest, and in Jesse's hiss-induced internship hallucination. Which, if you're just joining us, makes a whole lot more sense in context. <laughs> yes, right, okay. Fresh corpses, toilets, televisions, staircases, and the pit. I mean, we're in the pit, so I don't fucking know. Right, right, checked here already. Almost certainly. Yeah, this place is horrible, that's right. Like, this is an office that just got eaten. And to once again refresh your memories, the mold is basically just mold, except that it's being constructed by sub-microscopic creatures, who are weaving it out of every material they encounter. Sort of converting the surface layer of everything in here into the mold. My family had black mold once. Leech did the trick. Has Underhill tried bleach? For the record, I believe the answer was yes. It doesn't respond to standard, uh, earthly methods. Hello again. Have you collected the samples yet? It has been a very long time, and I'm sorry about that. With Darling gone, I'm putting Emily Pope in charge of the research sector. Are you okay with that? Perfectly. Pulled Excalibur from the stone, and now decree as you see fit, O oh Queen. What a true meritocracy we live in. Glad to hear it. Well, there is something to be said for someone who isn't afraid to speak their mind. Will the mold be under control anytime soon? We were barely containing it with weakly controlled burns. Just look at how it has spread after a few days of non-interference. It's beyond the threshold now. The floodgates are open. So that's a no. Americans. I will not comment on that. <laughs> I had a dream. Or something like one. Darling was there. He told me something, but I... Oh. Can't remember what. What's this about? I think he's gone. Right. Well, he's never where one expects him to be, is he? Well, thank God. I can finally stop writing these tedious reports that I'm sure he never even took the time to glance at. If you speak to him again, can you tell him I... I hope you found what he was looking for. I'll try. There's a story there. I should be getting back to work. Alright, just uh, the one more thing then. I assume you'll be staying with us until the mold is eradicated. Indeed. Until I find a permanent resolution to this pesky fungus business, I'll be here. Perhaps even beyond that, seeing as you are quite understaffed at the moment. Though, I hardly have a say in my own comings or goings. 
Your oldest house won't open the exits until those hiss monstrosities are cleared out. Glad to have you along for the ride. I'll see you later, Rhea. Dr. Oh. Underhill. Man, I got her name totally off. My bad. Although in my as I you know, as I said in my defense, it has been four million years. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is what the mold samples are supposed to look like. She seemed to indicate that at the time. Come to visit, director. See, she may have uh, spoken plainly that she doesn't think that whoever the... I had this thought myself, didn't I? That uh, whoever the, the board randomly picks to be the uh, director sh deserves to be the director. I had a problem with that. But, um... Is that one right there? No! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, they're like the ball things down at the foundation. Shit. Okay. Noted. Proximity bombs. Oh, it's a garbage can. No, it's, it's one of those standing ashtrays, huh? It's the thing, yes. Considering that she's willing to speak her mind and say that she doesn't believe in, you know, letting... Oh. Letting uh, a, a group of aliens pick the director of the organization, she was kind enough not to mention the fact that I'm dressed like the janitor. Ah, there you guys are. Hi! Yeah, that's more like it. Be at peace, creatures. Oh my god. Oh, that better not be more astral bleeding. Okay, first... Oh, shit! It's one of those guys! Look at the chunk he took out of my health! That was one hit! And they can shoot those very quickly and with incredible accuracy. I hate those guys! Ah! There's another one right over there. Oh, hey, that, that works too. Yeah, that seemed to do the trick. Okay. Oh, yes, uh, I've re-established the, uh, the mod that gives me source for every element I pick up. Why did I just get in here that was new? Whatever it is, problem solved. Oh, no! a goddamn thing in the sunlight. Sure, that's some really dense light. Wonder if this side of the oldest house is... Aha! A sample! It's near a staircase! So this must be type D. Found one. Let's see. Televisions. Okay, okay. Looking around. Uh, televisions, toilets, corpses, uh, the pit. The pit could be literally anywhere. I mean, we're kind of in the pit. What is that? Oh, it's an item I needed to find forever ago. I mean, I found the one I needed back then. But, you know, I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be funny if it turned out... I was thinking earlier, you know. Uh, Again, I think the jury's still out. But, you know, there are some indications that maybe the hiss are just... You know, don't have any plans at all. Maybe they're just mindless. I was thinking it would be funny if, after all that, it turned out the hiss were mindless and the mold was a malevolent entity. Hey, that looks like the pit. Is there a thing next to that? <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, it's that stuff. Okay, okay. God damn. 
I need to go kill some dudes. My health is inexcusable for down here. Nope. It helps. Is that where the bomb things are mounted, or where the exploding dude, or where this dude was mounted? Because the ones that shoot are rooted to the ground. I noticed that. It's pretty much their only weakness that they can't dodge. I don't see any samples down there anyway. I did see a corpse though. Launch tried to let me grab on. Uh, let me see. All right, might as well look around. To restrooms might have toilets in. Hang on, how is that sign even remotely legible? It looks like the mold built itself under that. chase scene ever. I really need to remember that I can just drop those without throwing them. Hey, he did it! Thanks for that. Your reward is that you don't have to be a zombie anymore. He didn't even groan. Oh. Let's not think about that too hard. Let's see. Toilets, toilets. Well, there seems to be a trail of toilets going up here, so... Uh-huh. Grows near toilets. This must be Type B. Gross. Wonder how it's gonna owe me for this. She already kind of owed me. I mean, I already kind of owed her for fucking up her name, but, you know. Yeah. Kill that other guy that I know. Off with your head. I mean, not really in this game, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's face it, at that distance, with this weapon, if I could have, it would have. Oh, well, I was hoping that'd be a collectible. I guess if there were any files in here, they would have been destroyed by the uh, mold, huh? I was wondering if I... I was being, you know, being metaphorical earlier, but I was wondering if... I, if, oh, if it was uh, literal that the... Uh, you know, they take the top layer of things and turn it into more mold. Because of that re uh, that uh, restroom sign. Actually, why don't I go down there? Corpses, televisions, and the pit. I'm guessing that glowy purple thing was the pit. A television! Oh, for fuck's sake. It's the goddamn threshold, kids. Okay. One of Underhill samples. Oh, there's just a bunch of TVs in here. Sure. I remember that, uh... One of the first times I came out here, uh, we got the the lines from uh, Jesse about how good the the mold smells, which is bad because it talks about how if you eat the mold, uh, it turns you into one of the zombies. That's how it does it. It just. Hmm. Oh, ironically, there is a bottle of bleach just sitting there.
shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Tofa. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, and on that charming note, we're gonna call it here. <laughs> oh, this fucking show. I don't like the way it zoomed in on his horrible chest when it said accidents happen, as if Mr. Bones, uh, as if Uncle Mr. Bones looks like that because of a building shift. Although I do appreciate the accuracy in depicting that it doesn't seem to matter whether any of the equipment gets knocked over or not because the control points still function. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control when we uh, try and find Type A and try Type E. Get them back to Dr. Underhill so that she can finally create, I don't know, whatever you call the, uh, the cure for a form of mold. Later!